So hello everybody, my name is Andrew. Today we're going to be looking at two cars uh, that I have to weather for Sam and Robbie. Uh, these are both Amtrak Evans Gonzalez. Um, one of the newer release and one of the older release. Um, this one's decorated in the safety orange scheme. And this one's just in the yellow scheme. Uh, so... They come out of the box pretty easily. They have different uh, types of boxes. Uh, this is just a basic. Pull it out. And then the other one just has a uh, clear case going around it and it just comes right out. Like so. start out with the safety orange one. Uh, these were primarily used uh, early 2000s, uh, late 90s. Um, there are several examples still uh, in use today. Most are very, very heavily weathered, which is why I have these actually. Um, and I'm going to give them that treatment. Uh, this is part of the Atlas Trayman line, so pretty basic detail. Um, along the side. I'm not sure how legible that is. Doesn't looks like it can be red. Brake wheel. Uh you got looks to be like a KD coupler, sorry, a uh Atlas coupler with a trip pin put in there. Um you can see all the letters pretty easily. It's very legible. Uh, and the paint doesn't obscure any of the detail. Uh, part of that is because there's not really a whole lot of detail in this. Uh, could use a coal load, or sorry, not a coal load, just a trash load or a uh, ballast load or something like that. Uh, some ties, but we'll get that eventually. Next up, we have the uh, yellow one. Not exactly the green yellow uh, that you see on the rails today. Um, but still uh, an example. The detail is exactly the same. There's not much of a difference. Uh, the new release does have different trucks, uh, different wheels. Uh, same couplers, just without the trip pins. There's some basic underbody detail, nothing too, too much. Um... This one's also going to be getting the serious weathering treatment. And that checks the uh, basic uh, clearances and uh, wheel gauge. Oh, there's the gauge there. So on this car, all the wheels are engaged. And on this car, much the same. So correct on those. Steering wheel and lamp. Uh, not much really running wise to look at. Uh, so. There's no BCC, of course, and there's no decoder. We can look at the coupler height. Just put it on the rails. Uh, this does roll very easily, which is nice. Uh, wheels are pretty good. It's a little bit hard to get it on based on the amount of room you have, actually, as you can see. Coupler seems to be dead on. Uh, trip pin seems to be giving a little bit of an issue, but I don't care about trip pins. Uh, and dead on on the other side as well. And on the other car, pretty much the same thing. Rolls very nicely. 
that on. Um, that on, it's not the teeniest bit low, but shouldn't really cause an issue at all. Uh, so yes, these cars would be just fine in operation. For just around $25 a piece, I definitely say these are very good cars, uh, definitely a piece of equipment worth having, uh, and they go well with many other cars uh, in the Amtrak maintenance series, such as ballast cars, more guns, those flat cars, um, and the MP15 and other switcher locomotives that uh, would be used on Amtrak maintenance trains, uh, including another engine that I'm going to be reviewing uh, fairly soon, uh, hopefully December mid-December I'll get that review out uh that's pretty much it once again $25 for these cars definitely worth getting uh if you did enjoy please consider subscribing uh liking the video and please ask any questions that you have in the comments below thanks for watching